Thank you for being a connoisseur of Konya Corner and listening to another episode. It's me, your host, Marcus Boston. Please, 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 please share, like, and comment. Let me know what you think. I, I love feedback on what I can do better, where I can grow, where we can make this thing be what it's all it can be. Uh, follow me on IG at Marcus Boston 314 show page, Cognac Corner, leave me a comment, hop in them DMs, let me know what's going on. Also, follow me on Twitter at Marcus Cognac, show page, Cognac Corner. On the Facebook at Cognac Corner, let me know, follow, share. Uh, email me at Cognac Corner at Gmail with any relationship questions, any thoughts, anything you just want to discuss, any uh, gems I can give you away, any shots I could uh, pour in your cup. Um, if you want to be guests, also email me, DMs, comment, whatever. Let me know. Um, get your friends to become get your friends to become connoisseurs as well. So we just make this a bigger family event. So thank you again for being here and enjoy the show. Fuck up the uh, sipping do say boy, this ain't your daddy yet. He in the Cadillac, me I'm in the Maybach. That was a horrible part of my life. <laughs> Maybe we, no, actually, that was a that was a good bad part of my life because that was when I went to Jamaica mm-hmm. and I went to. Um, I went to, uh, I think, Coachella around that time. Yeah. And I went to Vegas around that time. Somewhere around there. You were living life and, yeah. yeah. I was out living like a motherfucking, uh, like a, like a, like a, uh, like an Instagram model. I've been flown everywhere. All right. So, uh, um, Boston, that thing. <laughs> so, we talked from literally like 8.30 that morning, just smoking and talking until his kids got off the bus at like 4.30. And so. I ain't never had that much to say. No, and like so, we just sat there and talked and talked and talked and talked and talked and talked. He and don't seem to show up to have that much conversation. You would honestly, he's smarter than you think he is. Um, but, but are you applying the smart? Is the thing. What's the point of having money and don't spend it? I don't know why he and where why he ended up the place that he did because he like he's he got for like I majored in math when I originally went to college he made it further in math he made it through calc mm-hmm. too he just got a c in it and so he and he at um so he made mm-hmm. it through calc too like which is i don't know if you know what that means but, it's, but what was he trying what was his what was his goal what um, was the thought the idea i know he eventually got his his associates in medical assisting i don't remember that wasn't his original plan though no it wasn't um, what did he want to do? I mean, what, I mean, what degree or what I don't, uh, that's would you need for Cal 2? That's such a high level of math. Like, I, well, like, I want to say it was, I feel like he wanted to get into, like, video game design. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if that's what it was. That'd be good. That's some good, that's some good stuff. Right, man. especially when you're going that far, but. And if you're black, too, because there ain't a lot of them out there. So <laughs> no. He'd been, yeah, he'd he, been, he'd been set, and I think he got, like, but. He had some other stuff going on. Yeah. And it's, it's all it takes, man. Oh, God damn it. I almost heard this motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, he scared the hell out of me. But he was going to... Hopefully, he was not... Hopefully, he was not going to take the camera tape. I was so scared. I was watching him go back and forth. I was like... I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> he was going to die. <laughs> that was Cecil, the captain of... Colorado Bob, Ship of Fools at 3457. Welcome to Road, 16 Now serving draft beer. <laughs> Shafley, soon be taking credit cards. <laughs> soon be taking credit cards. <laughs> Say what? Oh, that's my favorite. Shafley, Hefe, well, it's Hefe, one of my favorites. Hefeweizens. Hefeweizen. 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 You know, that's German. Yeah. There you go. Germany. <laughs> German. I don't know what you... All right, see you guys later. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody that kill, it's the time to kill. You see the real killers, all right? <laughs> it was just dead. Like, ah! <laughs> Okay, and okay. we're back to Ronald. All right, through Ronald. So, like, <sighs> he's more intelligent. I don't know what happened in his life and why it is what it is mm-hmm. and whatever, but he's not stupid. And so, um, and, like, I do think that, because I don't, 
I don't know. There are times when me and him will have conversations where he's extremely intelligent and we'll have mm-hmm. in depth, but then he, but then you see him in a bar and you're like, "What the hell is wrong?" Like, with how you? are you still alive, right? <laughs> For real? How are you still alive? The Holy Ghost will. Right. The Holy Ghost will bring you up, bring you down, and leave you alone. Right. So, um, um, so me and him, like, it was really short lived. Like, um, he brought me on the east side one time, and like, he. Oh, so we. Oh, we talk that whole day, right? About, like, politics, about all that stuff. And so, um, and, like, me and him have talked about it multiple times. Like, he's told me that, like, he likes Biden over, um, Clinton and that, like, all that extra stuff. And, like, we've gotten into discussions about that. Um, although I did get on him because he was like, well, I voted, like, in the primaries or, or like, when he voted, he didn't vote for Hillary, like, in the Trump-Hillary election. Uh-huh. And I was like, ultimately, it wouldn't have mattered because St. Louis swung Hillary anyway. I was like, but he See, was, yeah, St. Louis not the problem. It's the rest is right, regular right, ass fucking right, state. Right, right, right. It, the one, the, Kansas City and St. Louis is fine. <laughs> right, right, It's the rest right. of the goddamn uh, ground is the problem. Right, but yeah, like I talked to him and I was like, because he didn't, I don't remember who, I think he voted for Biden for president or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, I was like, you, I was like, St. Louis wasn't the problem, so, like, it's not that big of a deal. I was like, but when it comes down to the general election, like, even for me, like, who's a libertarian and a diehard libertarian, like... Big quit playing. Yeah, like, there, there's a point. There's it's awful games. All right, all right, all right, now. Hey, if, hey, if, if, now. If, it, if it had... Yeah, too long now. Right, to get if real. It, right, I was like, there's, there's a big difference. Like, I was like, there's a difference between previous elections and this election. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not, and I live in Jeff County, and, like... Man. So, um... So me and him talk all day, and then his kids get off the bus, and I'm like, I'm not, like, not in a mean way, but we don't know each other well enough for me to meet your kids. And, Hell no. And so, um, his kids get off the bus, and then I go to, no, I don't go to work, because I, there was something where we were talking later that night, maybe he got off work and called me or something. Mm-hmm. And so then, the next day, we brought me down to that bar, mm-hmm. um, and, like, but I was not anticipating that. Like, so, like, I was not dressed in bar attire. I was dressed in, like, a dress and I flip think, flops. I think I was there. Oh, you were there. I was there. I think I was there because I think I either had, Uber had took me there and I just stopped driving. But I don't think I, I, don't think I was out. I think I was just there on happenstance. Cause I, yeah, you were just there. Yeah, cause I was just in regular shit. So, I know I was just there. I think I ended up there after making a run. It was late. I was like, fuck, I'm already down here. I'm going to have a drink. Right. Shit. Right. So, he... So, I met everybody that he worked with and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, like, it was getting close to bar t- end time. And he was like, I want you, like, I want to run a hotel room or whatever. And I was like, all right, that's fine. And so, um, and I don't know. Like, I, I don't necessarily, like, if you sleep on the first date, that's fine. If you don't sleep on the first date, that's fine. I think the the relative amount of time is irrelevant to... What kind of sleep are we talking about at this hotel? What are you, what are you saying? Sleep, if, if you... If you fuck on the first date, that's normal. If you if you don't fuck on the first date, that's also normal. Well, I, 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 You're going to make I a sad have... tone, aren't you? Right. <laughs> but, like, it was well. like we'd had, like, a conversation. I was like, all right, like, I'm good to go. <laughs> and so... <coughs> <laughs> so... This is from that night. I, that, was the night that was from the night I saw you. I got, where y'all go? Yeah, you go to Four Seasons? Four Seasons? Well, Jay, I thought you said you got, y'all got a room that night. You got no, four he couldn't. They wouldn't rent a hotel room to a black dude, basically. Where'd y'all go? His house. What you mean? Wait. I thought y'all was going to rent a hotel room. He was. And then he was calling places and he was trying to reserve it. Reserve it and they wouldn't. Once they heard his name, they would just. Ha- the, once they heard his name, they would just hang up on him. What the? What is he? What place? I, my name. My name is. Is not the whitest in the entire world. Is that where you're going with? That? Yeah, my name is definitely ethnic. Right. I've never had a problem. First of all, I don't call. I just go <laughs> and I go to the front desk and like, give me a fucking room. Well, honestly, what I think it was is that he was trying to run it. We were trying to run it at three o'clock in the morning. I don't give. I'm rolling the bitch at four and got one. Now I might, now I might have to buy. I might, might have to fool me not to have to get right back up. I might have to buy it for two days, but whatever. I'm gonna fuck for two days and get him room. Right. <laughs> That's what that no, means. Well, and then I don't know. It, God was trying to tell me something or something. You don't listen, so carry on. Right. I don't. I don't. There's there's not a single person in my life that would disagree with you on that. 
Not a single I person. I don't understand how you don't listen. Go ahead. All right, yeah. So um, we end up at his house. Um, we have sex the first time. And then we go out on his back, like on top of like the roof or whatever. And... <laughs> And we're sitting there talking, and, like, I'm kind of telling him about, like, my situation with my now ex-husband. Joshua. Joshua, yeah. I'm telling him about the situation with Joshua. And um, he's like, you know, and this was after we'd already had sex and all that. And he was like, you know, I never wanted to get married, but I kind of feel like if I ever wanted to get married, I'd get married to a girl like you. Oh, he was going to get him some hell of a, that's what he said, <laughs> out, standing up. She must have been... <laughs> He's like, you know what? I feel that. <laughs> so, um, we like we talk for a little bit about some stuff, and I kind of explain to him like what my reservations have been and stuff like that. Go back inside, do it again, and then I don't know. This is what like a Thursday or a Friday. <laughs> Honestly, the only thing I remember is I remember that the day I met him. Or the day that we talked all day was a Wednesday because Empire was premiering. And me and him sat and talked about Empire for a little while. But this was like Empire, like first season or second season or third. But like early. I was about to say, it better be season one or two. Yeah, it was It was early. It wasn't like, I haven't seen anything recently. I never watched it. I thought, it, I, I didn't watch Empire because um, Power was better. Cause, I cause, do like Power. Because. They're on stars and not on Fox, so they can do more shit. If Empire was on like HBO or some shit like that, Empire would be really good. Like the storyline's dope. Oh. It's just you just can't you can't be that gruesome. Like they fucked all the time on goddamn power. Yeah. And motherfuckers died with a bullet through the eye. Like that's sh- I need to see that shit on gangster shit. <laughs> well, Empire, you can't do all that because you're on Fox. Well, but like I I so I, I really like power. I haven't seen it, so don't tell me anything about it. I don't remember what happened last. I'm gonna okay, watch the last Cause, season of my damn self. Because the last time I remember was when Jamie betrayed. Um, what's the black dude? His name's not Fox. What is it? You talk, are you talking about um, Fifty Cent character? No. Um, are you talking about Ghost? Ghost. There you go. When the, Jamie betrayed Ghost. Who's Jamie? Jamie's the white dude. His name's not Jamie. His name is, um... You're making me want to Google this shit. God damn it. I got a whole laptop right here. You do. God damn. Get behind that shit. I didn't plan on doing no goddamn Googling. <laughs> like a pow- hope the one power cast. What the fuck? It's not... I can't... It can't be... It can't. I, it's, it's I hope it's Jamie. I hope not. Cause I, I hope I that. remember the white character and you remember the black character. That's what I hope. Tommy, yes. Tommy, ah! Oh! <laughs> I'm like, that's not on goddamn Jamie. Damn. James man. is ghost, but oh. it's not Jamie. But but Tommy is the white. I'm like, that's, Tommy is the white character. Okay, so, but that's what I remember is, like, that it was a Wednesday, and then it was Thursday, and then it was Friday, and then he had his daughters that weekend, Mm -hmm. and then that Sunday, something happened, but, like, I don't remember. I remember that I met, like, Peter, um, Mm -hmm. and that me, Peter, and Ronald went to, on a Tuesday, went out to the east side. Uh-huh. And that that was a big joke because it was like on a Tuesday. Yeah, it made there with the goddamn people that on Suicide Watch, it's Suicide Times, it's crazy ass people there on a Tuesday. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Like, why are you here? Because because Tuesday was the day I took off Uber because it was the slowest. Right, I got you, but that's the reason. Oh. Slow. I'm not, I'm not, I know why y'all are there because y'all just retarded, but mm-hmm. everybody else there's on Suicide Watch. Right, right. Oh, you're talking about like that? Yeah. yeah. Who's but yeah. Down, know, so like Ronald and I, we were never like. We were never in like together, uh-huh. so I find out I'm pregnant. Okay, so is this due to what is the reason this happened? Is it due to did you use uh, protection every time? No, or you start okay, so it was roll the dice. No, it was it was I had been Sometime told that I hadn't good like well, and even after I found out I was pregnant, they had me come in for an emergency ultrasound because they were like, "There's no fucking way." <laughs> there was like, "There's no way." <laughs> He's like, my name is God. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much what that is. And I tell people that. I'm like, that's because, because, so I had multiple things going wrong, which, why I couldn't get pregnant. Mm-hmm. And so I go in for my first ultrasound. They do the ultrasound. And they're like, the baby's in the correct place. And I was like, okay, what about all these other diagnoses that I have? And they're like, it's all gone. Mm. And I was like, for real? And they're like, yeah, it's all gone. 
Damn. And I was like, huh. That, well, God. God. God yeah, I was like, you got to let me know where I'm supposed to be going right now because I don't really know. God. And is so. So I, I had literally just bought two packs of Newports before I took the pregnancy test <laughs> because I was that sure that I wasn't going to be pregnant. I'm good. And I'm good. They going to get me. He said, oh, yeah. <laughs> right. So I um buy two packs of Newports and then I tell jo- – no, not – well, I tell Ronald. Josh? No, because I, I was on the phone with Ronald when I took the pregnancy test. Um, <laughs> I said – Man, I had that, had that scared one time, and I said never again. Um, so I was on the phone, and then I was like, "Oh shit, it's positive." <laughs> you better have a positive attitude, not positive. <laughs> you better have some motherfucking <laughs> positive, positive vibes. So, <laughs> so then I was like, "I gotta go," and he's like, "Why you gotta go?" I was like, "Cause I gotta go tell Joshua." <laughs> like, I was oh, like, "I don't." Oh man. I don't know what I'm about to do. Like, uh, you are not the person I'm gonna turn to for answers. You know what I mean? Uh, so, I go and tell Joshua, and he's like, "I need to think," and I'm like. Valid. I think I'm gonna load this motherfucking pistol and kill us all. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like valid, and then I send um, Ronald. Man, I gotta keep up with these fake names. I send Ronald a, a text, and I'm like, um, I'm gonna drop off these these packs of Newports tomorrow, right? Cause I'm I can't smoke them because my womb is breathing. Right, right. I'm not gonna sit here with two Newports like during my entire like two packages of Newports during my entire pregnancy. Like, no. Oh, you'd be a terrible person. Right. I would like I could do it, but then if my kid like had any kind of breathing issues, I'd be like, Man, mm. I swear, I saw. <sighs> I saw a lady with a whole belly smoking outside. I said, God damn, right. you a horrible human being. Right, for real. I said, fuck, you couldn't stop. You couldn't just hold on a little bit longer? No, did I ever, did, uh, did you ever see my house, my house that I owned? No, I never. Okay, so no. I lived in like an upper middle class white neighborhood, right? What? So I would like, and we lived at the back of the neighborhood, so I drive through the neighborhood, mm-hmm. and when I, like, I would drive past, like, houses of, like, pregnant women smoking outside. Oh, my God. And I was like, so the value of your house means more than the health <laughs> of your unborn child. That shit crazy. I was just like, I don't, like, and I know that struggle, because I was smoking when I got pregnant, yeah. and I was like, well, I can't smoke. <laughs> like, that's y- it. Yes, yeah, <laughs> so how it goes, guys. Right. <laughs> Taking this dick is an option. Right? Like, I get the child, I don't get the cigarette. Like, that's how that works. Like, so, um... It's not an even trade to me. I I mean, I... I love... I love my kid. But, um... That... I genuinely love that child. He pisses me off, but I love him. But, um... I can't relate. I know. But, so, he... So, I drop off the new ports to Ronald... New boats. <laughs> and I and he's like, Why are you dropping these off again? And I was like, you know what? Never fucking mind. And I wa- I started walking away and he's like, No, now I remember and I was like, mm. And I was like Cause he got children. Yeah, he does. He got children. Got them children. And baby mamas. <laughs> like, oh, baby mama. That's plural, guys. I mean more than one. Yeah, so I'm the third. Oh, but so I hope- Okay, we're gonna pause. So for, um, I, I turn. How around. do you have sex with somebody? Get no, for that, real. How do you do that? Oh, you're talking about me. How do I have sex with? Because I didn't think I could get pregnant. Oh, you white people can learn by doubting God. Right. Well, don't, I'm. You white trust people God. Good. Don't trust no man. Man well, lied to you. You got her living reckless. No, this is what I'll say: is white people, right? Bust them. Bred like racist white people bred black. Bled, bred black slaves to be fertile mm-hmm. because that was what was going to perpetuate them. Now it seems ironic <laughs> that those same people that bred black people to be super fertile are now having to suffer the repercussions of having biracial gr- great, great, great. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, I feel like God's up there being like, eh. You may not have seen it immediately, but there were repercussions. Like, when you treat an entire group of people like dogs, that's what happens. Like, you get what I'm saying? This is Negro Corner. This is, <laughs> this is a Negro Minute on Cognac Corner with Vera of Marcus Boston. <laughs> so who has the last laugh? Racist slave owners. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> with these mixed 
grand babies. I do. When I used to work at the zoo, I used to love seeing like these super like old white people with this mixed grand baby. I'd be like, yes! yes <laughs> and I know, y- I know that nigga ain't had a baby life. That's why I was like, yeah. oh, he ain't there. He beat your daughter down and worked at the dental assistant school and now she, <laughs> now you walking through the zoo with this little cute nappy headed baby that's yep. got beautiful skin and blue eyes and y'all walking around. I don't know what to do with her. I heard, oh, it's like, what do we do with her? <laughs> um, that shit is fascinating but it, it is. is yeah but so yeah like it's ironic but it's this weird like bit of like I feel like I was always gonna end up with a biracial child I feel like that was well my mom's racist so <laughs> that was just how that was gonna happen it took, so it, took me, it took me a minute to get to the part of the country that like had black people cause Colorado <laughs> doesn't have black people but <laughs> It's not ironic. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. Um, but so, um, so I was like, you know what, Ronald, whatever, fuck you. And I walked away and he's like, no, now I remember. And I was like, what do you want to do? And he's like, I don't know. I got to go talk to Wyoming or. Wyona? You, you, you go Wilma? Um, I, I, summer? How about call it Winter. All it's right. a cold big bitch, ain't she? I, don't know. <laughs> I just think well, this is funny. Go ahead. But so, what? um, so he's like, I go talk to her, and so he goes and talks. Uh, but then I was like, you know what? And so then I get home and I go to James, and I'm like, what do you want to do? Mm-hmm. And he was like, I want a kid. Maybe this will fix us. Blah 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 blah. Why would Joshua think that's gonna fix some shit? Kids don't fix shit. Kids are gasoline. Yeah, right. So we get through the entire. Well, so then, and at this point, we had stopped having sex, right? Yeah. And so. Um, Stop doing the butt. Hey, <laughs> sexy, sexy. So then we get to like. So this was. I found out I was pregnant on May fifth, and we go out to Colorado on Memorial Day, and we have sex on Memorial Day, and. Then, like, that was the last time, pretty much. Wait, did you do some? What did you, did he, he was, I think it was honestly. You say do something. <laughs> no, <laughs> honestly, I think it was more that, like, he just felt like he needed to, like, I don't know. For the road. Maybe. And so then that was, like, the last time. And then, um, fast forward, I give birth to Dominic. Mm-hmm. Stuff gets bad again. I find weird stuff again uh-huh. and then i approach him i was like i thought you were working in therapy through all of this and he's like i haven't been talking about any of that in therapy <laughs> yeah. uh, it only works when you when you use it <laughs> right 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 exactly and so and this is when we were out in california visiting my brother and i send um fuck what's his name ronald uh-huh. um i said i send ronald a message being like look like this is for real like done 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 are we going to work this out? And he kind of messages me back, like, yeah. Yeah, you still pregnant or you had the baby already? I already had the baby. Oh, so okay. the baby was like seven you're months out, old. You out of booze, huh? I am. I drink quick. Oh, I'm sorry. I also have to pee. Yeah, okay, well, okay, I'm going to pee first. And then you, you keep telling this story. Okay. And then I will talk about something random. Okay. Until you get back. We can continue on this goddamn road. We still got to talk about motherfucking Menendez and how you how that dumpster, how that whole situation well, that's was a what horrible I'm about, idea. I, that's what I'm about to get into. That's what I'm saying. Well, um, you, you, I'll keep talking. You I'll keep, keep talking, talking, and I'll be right. I'll be white black. Okay. All right. So I'm out in California, and I um send Ronald a message, and I'm like, um. How do I say this? Like, let's work this out. Or not necessarily let's work this out, but, like, the only person that can, like, potentially have custody of Dominic besides me is you because we never went through all the legal process of getting Joshua to legally adopt Dominic, but Ronald was never on Dominic's birth certificate. So, um, we, so I send Ronald that message, and, like, he's kind of playing with me back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And making it seem like he wants to work on stuff, but then all this other... And then it pops out that, like, he's messing with this other girl, Matilda. And Matilda is currently married. Now, I've been in an open marriage for X number of years, so I understood how it worked. But I wasn't sure that they were, like, in an open marriage. 
And so, um, I didn't really think about it again. Do you want, do you want, um, your cup? Yeah. There's the captain in there. I don't know. I don't want you fighting nobody. In other words, I don't know how to shoot you. No, you're fine. I don't dislike you. <laughs> so I got, like I said, I got that, uh, captain. I don't know how much cognac left. Oh, you're fine. Do you, do you got Hennessy and orange juice? Because that's the last time that Hell I... Hell no, I don't Hennessy and orange juice. <laughs> Man! I haven't, I haven't re-upped this week. This is, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, I'm trying to come on some other No, <laughs> so, like... Tell your story. Okay, so... Like, fat, so I messaged Ronald when I'm in California. He's, like, making it seem like maybe we can work it out. Maybe we can't work it out. Blah, 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 blah. Then he sends me this picture of him kissing Matilda just to be a jackass. Wow, what a dick. Right. So then I was like, oh, fuck you. I'm about to put all That's your crazy. shit on blast. Which, oh, no. Not yeah. today, Jesus. Not so today, I put Satan. all of his shit on blast. Like, literally everything that could, like... Everything that he'd ever told me about his family, about anything oh, like that. Oh, man. Well, no, yeah. Yeah, I'm playing with nuclear warheads. Oh, here, no, man. like, and this is, like, me and you, we don't, like, we're not interested in each other like that. Once I start speaking, I am vicious. Like, man. vicious. Vicious, vicious. So I'll tell them about my nasty secrets. I know <laughs> I, it's nasty. And that this and that's what I tell people every time I'm like, you piss me off, I'm gonna blow over I'm gonna put all your shit on blast. And yeah. you will tell me all of it, knowing that, and then you will get pissed at me, and then I will put your shit on blast. Like and that's I'm telling what telling all lies. I'm it's all good. I mean truth. you don't mean you don't have those kinds of issues, but <laughs> like um So he sends me a picture of Matilda, and from that and some other stuff. I forget who her husband is. So after, like, the 16 month time that Ronald's, like, me- like fucks with me just to be a dick, I send her husband a message. Um, Matilda's husband. Oh, I know. Who's Menendez. Um, and so he... So I send him a message, and he kind of responds to me like, okay, crazy bitch. Like, not quite like that, but, like, So your idea was to reach out to her, her significant other, to do what? To like get become allies on? Um, to to fuck up her shit. Wow, God that was because she was fucking up mine with oh. Ronald. <laughs> Some shit you shouldn't have wanted in the first place. You should be thank God somebody wanted that goddamn trash. Maybe, so, but um, not not that time. It was all out war. Right. So. And at one point, ironically enough, I had told her because she, and this is what it is, I was never in love with Ronald. I was just desperate trying to get out of my situation, right? The thirst is real. Right. So, um, she was like, you're just in love with him or blah, blah, blah. And I was like, bitch, I should fuck your husband just to prove you that, to prove to you that I could, can, or whatever. <laughs> Knowing the rest of the story, that's a little bit funny. <laughs> that's a little bit, it's a, not my best moment, and that was not my intention when I made that comment. <laughs> but, all things considered. So, fast forward. Um, they end up getting a divorce, right? Mm-hmm. And at the same time that I start my divorce. So, me and Menendez move in together, and now Ronald and Matilda are living together. And so you felt it was after after y'all became allies, or you went to sabotage the situation because your shit was trash. No, it wasn't. Well, honestly, it wasn't that. It was that. What it comes down to was that sh- the picture that like she <laughs> like that's what it was. Is that like as a female, you do you know what you're doing when you do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you know when you you know when you're that girl that's like, mm-hmm. like and I've been I've been on that side. Like you know when you're playing that game. Cool, you want to play that game? We'll do this real shit. We'll, mm. we'll do this real mm. quick. Mm. Like, and it wasn't my best moment. Not my best moment at all. <laughs> but. Um, so you took, so you chose to receive Menendez to spite Matilda. No, no, I honestly, Menendez, when I first met him, 
presented himself as the exact opposite of Ronald. Oh, uh, he ran he ran the wishbone offense, huh? He, yeah. He ran the wishbone and you, you, you I bet it. You, you bit for it. I I fucking bit it. You bit for the fucking uh uh what's that what's the, what's she call football um the pa- the fake pass, no the um play action. Oh yeah yeah touchdown yeah. over the top. Right. So that like yeah. Yeah. God damn. He gets the oldest trick in the book. Oh, my God. You don't even understand. But he was 40. Like, I was like, all right, you, you got a good job. Like, you got a good job. You don't have any kids. Like. That's my playbook right there. I love the wishbone. Right. And I so, just stopped playing the game. Right? So, I. So, then, like, so I move in with him because stuff got really bad with Joshua. Um. I move in with him at the end of November, mm-hmm. and I'm pregnant January 1st. And so... Was this a, was this a broken kind of too? Are we going... Are you still No, 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 that? no. This was... This was a whole lot of... Negotiations? No. Uh, manipulation? No. Um, yeah, Tri- kind trickery? of... Trickery? Did you... Mm... I don't know if I want to ask you a question on air. Did I who? Who, 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 who? Do you, how intimately do you know what I like? I don't know a goddamn thing. Okay. I have no good goddamn idea. Okay, because I was like, I don't know if me and you ever had that conversation. If um, we did, it was a long time, a long ago, time ago, so it's not even fucking valid no more. Right. Well, and honestly, like this particular part of it isn't valid anymore either. Um, but I had, in the process of being friends with him, uh-huh. I had told him certain things that I liked uh-huh. and Man, I thought you were give me some exclusive I was ready to get the button ready I don't know what button I had ready but I was like, <laughs> no cause it's like, like cause, cause this like, is the she, thing like, is what's she gonna say guys? I was like cause this is like this is the information that like people use against me like that like I tell them what I like and then they come at me and they're like oh blah 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 like, when a girl tells me what she like I do the exact opposite I just want to know what to avoid. <laughs> right? Well, it's like... Those guys go for the kid, but like, ah, I just, I just want to know that you want to die. Like, I don't want to kill you, but I don't know, I just want to know you want to die. You want to die? I'm out. That's, good. That's all I want to do. I'm going to go back to what I was doing. I'm a horrible person. Oh, you're good. I'm a piece of shit. So, um, I... So, he took what he knew and used it to get to a certain spot. And, like... So, okay, on a, on a level of 1 to 10, what, what did this thing you like rate from 1 to 10? From, 9 and a half. Good God! Jesus Christ! Who don't ever tell nobody that ever again? I don't know if that is. I don't want to know. I don't even want the audience to know. I don't want the kind That's of... That's the reason why. You said a 9... Not- God, I don't even, there is only one thing. There, I don't even know what ten is, but I am uncomfortable. Right, it, there is only one thing, one thing that could have been added that would have been. I don't even know what. The, right, I don't know what the high is. Right, exactly, and so that I'm like, on the ground looking at clouds. You looking at above the cloud? I'm like, oh, this is more, it goes past three. <laughs> what? Bet you lying. <laughs> yeah, no, like it was, but like, oh my lord, I have to. Use the restroom. Oh, go ahead. Okay, okay, go, okay. I'm, I'm going to play some tunes while you go. Okay. Go ahead. You're not. You're going to say this shit, yo. It's going to be a two part. I don't know why I'm going to label this, but it's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be real good. Hello, everybody. This is Marcus Motherfucking Boston. And this is uh, Coney on Corner. Our guest is uh, using the commode. That's why grandpa is called the commode. But as we um take a little break, I'm going to listen to some. I got that water. Oh, no, I listen to this on the day. No, here we go. Uh-uh, here we go. Come on, y'all. Here we go now. No, this is a little bit of Boston conversation. Boston confessional. Um, that's my shit here. Uh, so Vera, whole shit show, bro. Um, we didn't do much. We were like see around a couple, a couple of dates or something, but it didn't turn out too much. And once, uh, you know, when I when I stepped away, came up pregnant. Corn balls. I was like, man, I'm glad I didn't fall for Okie Dog. Like, you know, sort of past that now by a lot. <laughs> I've grown a lot. Um, but uh, and this this, this song of mad is by Cool the Game. This shit is amazing. You know what song this was remixed from? Well, this is the original song. Summer, summer, it's 1974. Um, but uh, 
crazy too, kids, man. I'm so blessed to be available to create this content if you find folks. If you're ever looking for me, um, oftentimes you find me at Colorado Bob's Ship of Foods at 345. Oh, wait, shit. 345. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 7, 6. 3, mm, shit. Uh, Colorado Bob's 3456. That's not it. Morgan Fort Road, 63116. 3457. Yeah, 3457, Morgan Fort Road. Uh, that's where you can find me. But, um, yeah, we got, this is some cool. This is, uh, this is BBC, Big Booty Communications, 1077. And this is Mark and Boston. This is The Quiet Storm. And as we get back to this, uh, dumpster, this great, entertaining, intriguing story. <laughs> that's being shared at this moment in time. Vera has returned as we will decrease. This is some good shit. This is like, this is this is this is, you know you can't do shit with this no anybody under thirty. You gotta get like somebody. You got aunt. This is Auntie Mama music. <laughs> this is Auntie. This is Mama music when one of them smartphones and you had to you had to say hey girl. You had to use your mouth. You had to talk to her in real life. <laughs> All right. So where were we at? Um. um uh, we, you, oh, I just you seduce Menendez. Uh, seduce Menendez. Um, so I'm living with him, get pregnant. So like, Matilda's super controlling, right? Mm-hmm. I guess to control everywhere you go and everything you do, and I'm not that person. I don't have that kind of time. Obviously, if I was like, you know what, it's cool if you fuck some dude up the ass. Like, I'm not that controlling bitch. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If you, if you don't give a fuck about <laughs> a, a, a surprise dick in the booty, yeah. you're not going to be too shooken by anything else. Right. That's, a, that's a motherfucking 10. That's a 25. God damn it. That's a motherfucking... That broke the charts. That's the uh, no, that, shit. That was, like, honestly, and if... There was some shit that had gone down differently. Like, my thing was always, as long as I know I'm your number one, I don't give a fuck. As long as I know I'm number one and they know I'm number one, I don't give a fuck. Well, clearly, he didn't give a fuck about you that night. Right. Well, and that's and that's what he it was, basically... <laughs> yeah, he, okay. he said, no, nah, what's number one tonight is this... <laughs> right, right. So, um, anyways, <laughs> fast forward. Fast forward. To Mendendez. So, he had been in the super controlling marriage or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, look, like, go out with your buddies. I don't care. Like, I'm not, like, not that I don't care, but that, like, just don't be stupid with it. You know what I mean? Don't be a her. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, but then when I was about six months pregnant, like, shit changed. Like, it was just, like, I don't know what happened. I honestly feel like he went out there and he was with his buddies and he was like, oh, I can get some better shit just like everybody fucking does. But he had been in that controlling us relationship for such a long time that, like... That freedom, boy. He, he, that freedom hit him like the... Yo. <laughs> Welcome to freedom. Right? He's like, oh, shit, I can do with the... Oh, my... Oh, the... Oh. What's this like? He What's it like, like being able to... Leaving uh, pops in the morning. <laughs> right? What? Hearing them motherfucking birds. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> what's that like? And so... I hear it the... Oh, that's not what I thought that was. I hear it go. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it getting it, boy. So, I was like... So then, like, all of a sudden, all this shit started happening. And then I gave birth. And then, like, a month after I gave birth... He, like, me and him got into an argument about some bullshit, like, just him being a jackass, and I put his shit on blast because, like, I'm fucking tired of this. <sighs> but, and there's, an, honestly, there's not a part of it, because I look back at it, and, like, what it was, was that, that was, he wanted, he, when he met me, I was in a, a much weaker spot than I am now. Mm-hmm. And so, like, he wanted that subservient housewife that stayed home and did whatever he said. And, oh, yeah, like, he a fuck boy. Right. And, like, and so that's what he wanted, and he was selling me a line. And I'm not, like, I. He I'm... is definitely a. We're sorry. Your call cannot be. <laughs> Hit him with it. They still make y'all? That's such a corny shit to be, boy. I know, right. That shit corny. I can't be it. I don't know how I don't know how to put it together. Right. That shit and is like, horrible. And like my my thing, and this was my thing when I first started dating Joshua, is what I want is I, I'm gonna hustle my butt off, you're gonna hustle your butt off, I'm gonna do what's necessary to support you, and you're gonna do what's necessary to support me. Like, not without sacrificing yourself, obviously, but you know what I mean? Like like when I when I was 
when I was that housewife, like, I got some really impressive awards because when I wasn't supporting him, like, when he was gone, I was doing some really cool shit. Like, I got some awards that I, I never realized how cool they were until recently when I, like, researched them just out of curiosity, but I got some really fucking cool awards while I lived in Germany through the military. Like, when I do shit, I do shit hard and I'm not stupid. And if you're not stupid and you work hard, like... There's some shit like that doesn't like luck has a lot to do with it, but luck and timing can be yeah. one and the same. Yeah, but like there was some cool shit that I did, and so um um yeah um I got like awards from generals and shit like that, and so and a teacher and like well and then the best part is like so I meet these generals and like they're like I don't know what the fuck they mean I don't know what a general like. I never, like, I just did, like, like, kind of like how you got, like, big brother, big sister. Yeah. Right. Like, you're just kind of like, I just didn't suck. Like, I yeah, was Yeah, he didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, my, like, I don't have kids. My options were to either yeah, literally like, do nothing or this. Like, there wasn't a whole lot of, like, in between. Mm-hmm. Like, like, I did some cool shit, but, like, yeah. So, um... Um, but that was always my game plan. I hustle, you hustle. We're trying to get to the point where, like, <laughs> we're millionaires in theory. Not like that, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. we're trying to get to this place. And, um... It was there any point of this story where you single? Like, actually, like, tied to no other Oh, that person? was how we got on, um, the, uh, only when, uh... Mar- Men- Ronald Men- Mendez? Menendez and I broke up. And then, so we broke up in November... So you telling me out of 12, 12? Out of 12 years, yeah. So out of, okay, I, so I'm going to say, so I count three men. <laughs> we know oh, you got Oh, 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 you want to know how many men I slept with total over those 12 years? Yeah. My current number is 12. Get the fuck out of here. Yep. Boo, boo. You, you want me to name them? Boo. I, uh, the the first black guy I slept with was in St. Louis, and <laughs> I don't listen to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> For real, like I don't know if that's like I don't know if you consider that a high number. I'm gonna assume I, you. I don't because okay. my number is way more than that. I, I know I your know. number is way more than that. I don't know how. I don't know how. Because honestly, if I had been f- for real single, I would have done things. If if I had known then what I know now, which is like. It doesn't, like, A, it doesn't matter, and B, marriage isn't that awesome. It's like, not. kids are fucking, like, I know you don't agree with this, but kids are fucking phenomenal. When my two-year-old is making my nine-month-old laugh and laugh and laugh in the car, like, it brings joy to my soul. Like. Yeah, I'm too in my head for it. I'm not right, ready. right. I'm not, I can't let go of right, myself. Right, exactly, and that's fine, and if you're not ready for it, you shouldn't have them, because yeah. no child should be, should be subjected to that. Mm-mm. Like. Like, this morning while I was waiting for Menendez to come pick up the baby, like, I was sitting there, and, man, my heart was filled with joy. And then Menendez came and picked him up, and I wanted to punch him in the face for stealing that from me. But, like, like, um, anyway, so, fast forward, Matilda and Ronald are dating. (laughs) Me and Menendez have broken up. Mm Mm-hmm. And Ronald, who hasn't particularly been in my child's life up to up until this point, pops back in. Mm. So Menendez, being the piece of shit that he is, mm. um, even though he's been like down for this kid since he was seven months old or whatever, my oldest son, mm-hmm. um, says if Ronald's back in his life, I'm not. No, I'm not good with this. <sighs> Boy, Lord have mercy. Like, do you remember that message? I, I don't know if you remember it. A while ago, I was like, are you interested in being a big brother again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that list, man. That's why, that's why I told myself, in this year, I'm going to get back into it. Now that I'm like, I'm not moving. I'm not going to, like, I right. think even this, just having this, like, I mean, I might take him to the bar. I might not take him to the bar. Just to see. Just to just right. expose him. Like, you know, I can You're, teach him. Right. Or I can put him on to some shit. Like, he can teach me shit. Like, right. he can possibly keep me in the, in the swing of things. Right. Meaning that he's... 15, whatever, he's mm. keeping me current, you know right. what I'm saying, I can guide him into whatever Are you getting be. a new one, or with your old I'll one? I'll get a new one, my, oh, okay. my old one's like 20 now, oh, okay. yeah, so like, he's he's already out and doing what he's doing, um, 
But I'm gonna give me another one. I'm gonna give me another end of the year, probably on my birthday. Oh, it's okay. like a you gift should. to myself or the world. I don't know how I I'm spend like, that. Let's not get that cocky. That's like getting me cocky. This is getting. I'm giving myself to the world. This is, I'm giving <laughs> the world a gift, and it's me. God damn it. But um, so Menendez and I break up. Me and Ronald have a couple conversations, um, but nothing intense. Um, uh huh. And then me and Menendez, well, and then I date a white boy for like <laughs> half a second. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to go home. She's trying to, she to smoke some more fucking, <laughs> she's smoke some more fucking camels. And said, like, mm, these Newports. That's for real how that went. Like, I was I like. these motherfucking marble reds. I want some motherfucking yeah. Newports, nickel. <laughs> well, I was like, no, like, it's just, it doesn't work for me anymore. Like, it's. This is it, nasty. Well, and me and you had this conversation too. Like, a lot of, like, it's white dudes. Pink penis. It's <laughs> pink penis right for me. It's some chocolate. <laughs> well, a lot of people think that they're like, oh, it's because black dudes are, like, better and bad or whatever. And, like, that's irrelevant to the discussion. Like, it has nothing to do with that. What it has to do with is that, like, white dudes have this inherent, like, entitlement bullshit that you have to get through no matter what. Like, whether you're a white female, a white male, or a black female, or a, I don't know, another minority, or a black male. <laughs> Asian, Pacific Islander. Right, that, <laughs> that, like, you basically have to accept that at some point they're going to accept this, that they're going to expect this white male privilege to mm-hmm. exist. That <laughs> I come from four generations of single moms. Your white privilege, like, white male privilege doesn't exist in my world. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not, like, we can do this on our own. And, like... I grew up with my mom, like, growing up, I had Rosie the Riveter, like, Rosie the Riveter was all over my house. Why? Because she was a union member. Mm-hmm. That, like, I didn't know that women didn't do it on their own. Like, yeah. my my grandfather, my, my grandmother was a single mother the entire time, but my mm-hmm. grandfather died when my mom was 18. Mm-hmm. So, there was never, like, I never, like, I never saw, like, a grandfather figure on that, and then my grandmother's mother was a single mother. Yeah. So it's like, I don't, like, I didn't know that there were other options. Well, I mean, there are, but... So strong was the, yeah, strong was the only option. I agree. Yeah, the, well, and even my dad would not... Punk bitches out here, you're planning, you get your life together. <laughs> right, not that I made the best... <laughs> <laughs> but like even my dad I wasn't allowed to watch Disney movies because he didn't want me to su- be susceptible to like this stupid prin- princess, princess yeah, yeah. yeah that's just that's, that's all attractive I'm a princess bitch I want a queen damn it well, I want a queen well I'm like goddamn princess so he also I grew up on like um Japanese samurai films right mm-hmm. and so like some of them like are like ones that involve like prostitution and houses of prostitution and stuff like that mm-hmm. um and there was always like men or whatever but then there was always the woman that was involved or that the woman that was in charge of all the prostitutes madam madam yeah Mm -hmm. the madam i always wanted to be the madam (laughs) like like when i'm watching these like i wasn't allowed to watch disney but i'm allowed to watch samurai i don't know why that (laughs) 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 fucking people getting killed with swords that's totally fine princesses absolutely not (laughs) That's like a hard line right there. <laughs> Makes perfect sense to me. Dude. Right. Well, I mean, and I will say this too, that there are certain things like the Jungle Book where like, because he, he would let me walk, like it wasn't, he never, it was never something where he was like, you're not allowed to watch this. It was just like if we were renting movies or something mm-hmm. like that, or we were picking out movies, he's like, let's look at something else. <laughs> you shan't not tell my watch is your faja. <laughs> right. So, um, but like the Jungle Book, right? Like there's certain scenes that like he would just get up and walk away from him. One mm-hmm. of them was like the monkey sing where they're like dancing and stuff like that. Like the song, it's the only blues song in the entire movie. I haven't seen it. So uh, okay. Like VHS. You, you probably on VHS because yeah. <laughs> they're a live version. But there were certain things like that that like later on in life, like uh, there was it was a little. Like he couldn't watch Tarzan because Tarzan was horrible. Too. Oh no, he never. Yeah, he never. I never watched Tarzan. He he was okay with me watching The Little Mermaid. Yeah. Um, Girl, they found out that black woman, a black <laughs> queen, is being Ariel. Oh, they lost. They not my Ariel, bitch. Fuck you. Well, <laughs> I, I love it. Go ahead, queen. <laughs> I love it. I love when whites get angry. <laughs> but, I love like, white tears. It was fun. Yeah, somebody. I don't watch the news because I don't have time. But the mm-hmm. new Kaepernick like Nike thing. Oh uh, yeah, I fuck was, that. <laughs> Hell yeah, Cap. <laughs> bitch, you damn right. Well, I was just like, like in my mind, I was like, why are we so angry about this like didn't this happen like two years ago like he, what is he supposed to do i'm a, I, I work with nike i say nike bro right that flag 
He's nah, like, what's, he, what's he supposed to be like? I'm, I'm, I'm right, I like. Clearly, I, this <laughs> man has conviction. What he believe in right. to quit his motherfucking multi million dollar right. job, even though money is fucking fake. Did you also hear about that NFL star that got his arm amputated in the car accident? He no. play, he plays for the Miami Dolphins. He plays like defense tackle or something uh-huh. like that. Is that a position? Defense, defense tackle, yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. I was like, I'm not okay. Recently? So, yeah, like a couple days ago. Oh, damn, no. I, I Yeah, did. he's like, he used to play, who did he used to play for? Why he didn't cut off? What happened? He got into a car accident. Oh, damn. Yeah. I want to say he played for New York, but I feel like you would know him if he played for New York. Yeah, wait, let's play for the Jets. Unless he was a giant. He might have been, uh, but I'm, I, I know it was somewhere north. Yeah, you, know, gotta, yeah, you better Google God it. God damn it. Vera, you gotta Google and shit. He, he just he just got transferred to the Miami Dolphins and he hasn't even played for them yet. Oh no, he was on the practice squad. Who was he on the practice squad for? I just know it was more for the North than Miami, which is football, the- football, football player loses on. Uh, he was twenty two. Yeah. Uh, Who did he play for? It might have been a Southern State, but still more North than Miami. Kendrick Norton. I don't know who he is. He was just on the practice squad last year. That's what I remember reading. He ain't number 22. Miami that's, Dolphins player Kendrick Norton loses his arm and crack. Oh, that's a big guy, but yeah, he's an athlete. Damn, dog. Uh, Florida Highway, F, he was says the F-50, you know, was driving and crashed to a concrete. Was, oh, no. Yeah. To, to a concrete barrier overturned Thursday. Um... Uh, said Miami Day fire crew rendered aid to 20-year-old Norton who went who went to Jackson Memorial Hospital? Where you go to school at? He went to a. He went to. A, he was in a Christian academy for college. Oh. Well. Or like some type of Christian school. What AP News? That was a short ass. That was a short ass motherfucking paragraph. Okay. Uh, Norton played for University. He played for Miami. Oh, he's from Florida. I thought it said that he played for a Christian academy. Maybe I read no, that. No, he, he played. He played at New, University of Miami. He was drafted by, by the Panthers in the Panthers. seventh round okay. at eighteen. He's been much of last season on the practice squad, and he Dolphins signed him in December. Okay, so damn, he went to him. He was a hurricane mm-hmm. from the U. But yeah, so that's bananas. That's it, sad. Damn, fam, and that's that don't sound good when you is a single car accident. You went to a barrier, and that's a big ass truck too. Yeah, I'm a, probably could have been nicer. Could, I mean, I mean, he probably was nice ass truck. Damn, yeah. that's fucked up. So twenty two. Oh boy! Yeah. God bless him. Yep. So that that made me depressed today, just because I like football. Why would you, why would you spread your depression under my? I soul? don't know, cause it's like, cause I'm I don't know. Like, I feel like that's one of the things. You are terrible at life. I never told you that shit. But I was me. <laughs> well, what was I gonna say? Um, I feel like that was one of the things that like me and you could talk about was football, cause you're a Giants fan, right? And we I both. I am. But I realized I have a racist ass team. You know, they, they, they've only had one black quarterback in Giants history. I mean, I'm. I'll always be a Broncos fan through and through, but the, See, but we, we pay we pay, we pay Von Miller we pay Von Miller more than our white quarterback. So good. <laughs> like, we're not. Von Miller got you out of the Super Bowl. Yeah, Peyton we're Manning, we're like Peyton Manning was a fucking corpse. But he, well, this is what I'll say is that it would not have happened without Peyton Manning, minus the quarterback ability, his the. How do I say this? His personality. Yeah, trauma. I paid for a share for the defense to win that shit. Right. He was a decoy. Well, and I feel like, too, that, like, because one of the things that they said was the motto for that season is hustle till you make it. And so, Man. or something like that, like, fake it till you make it, something. If Von Miller. Von Miller is the shit, and we knew it. Bust ass. His girlfriend he got now is fine. I follow her on the gram. Mm-hmm. And, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Do I don't know. Do the NFL. I don't know. I don't know. But so, I always remember that you like the Giants, and we both hate the Patriots. Fuck, so. man, my boy, old the great that does the podcast. Um, he's a fucking Patriots fan. I said, bro, I uh, feel weird. Why? I feel he's, why? he's from us. He's from Connecticut. Oh, okay, that's valid. But he's a Yankees fan. He hate the Red Sox. But then he's also he's a Celtics fan, a uh, New England fan. A Yankee fan, then a Boston, then Ace the Red Sox, so the Bruins. I was like, that doesn't make sense. But I'm I'm all over the place too. But like, how you? I don't understand how you a, a Celtic, Patriot, Bruins, then a Yankee fan. Huh? Because you could go like you could say that he likes the team in his geographical region that wins. If he went with like 
the Yankees and the Patriots. I mean, I guess, I mean, he's like almost 40, so maybe even a little bit older. No, he's about almost 40, but I guess maybe at that time when he was growing up, Boston and Red Sox were trash. Mm-hmm. So that's, I mean, Bruins was probably good around that time, late in the 80s, maybe seven. I don't know, but like, I can say, I think that out of that four, out of those four that's been horrible for the longest was definitely Boston until 2004. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> but I've I've always been a Broncos fan through and through. Like that's like born, bled, breed, bleed orange. Like that's yeah. just the way it is. Um, I don't particularly care about baseball. Mm-hmm. Um, but like my brother was a Cubbies fan, and so I was kind of a Cubbies fan, but not like serious. Like baseball to me, like I didn't. My first baseball. Well, I went to a Cubbies game like when I was a baby, but. Um, my first like baseball game that I remember. Well, that's a lie too. As an adult, <laughs> I went to a, As a adult. I went to a Cardinals game, and like then I finally understood like a little bit of how you play the game. But it's still, I'm still like you play for like 17 innings before anything matters. Like mm-hmm. you play for four hours before it's like I don't know because nothing that happens in the first two innings really matter. <laughs> Why am I like okay, okay, we gotta close this up. We had. Almost two fucking hours. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Button up your trash ass story. Um, so now, are you? So now that you left, um, Ronald, and you left, oh, and I'm uh, a, a Menendez, Menendez, and you're single for the first time in your adult life. What? Uh, so what's 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 next? Like clearly, well, you you tell them what they gotta know. What dudes gotta know? No, tell them like what's next for you. Like what oh, is your next? So, step? um, in December I'm gonna graduate with my bachelor's in psychology. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm doing the internship at the domestic violence shelter. I also work at a high needs daycare center. Uh-huh. Um, or I work at a daycare center for kids with high needs. Um, so I'll graduate in December, and then the game plan is ideally to get into something that involves the human services that. Mm-hmm. Not that I make the best life choices, but I might make better choices than some people. <laughs> so. Oh, well, fuck yeah, that's a, yeah, I, I, I concur. That, like, I managed my way out of it. I can probably help you to halfway manage your way out of it, so. Yeah, you got experience, you got time. Yeah. You got your lessons learned. Yeah. And, and personally with these men, I mean. Yeah, the, You clearly can't take it away. You need to spend time with yourself and yours. You've right. You've got enough time relationships. Right, so. Then I'll graduate in December. I don't think I'll end up getting my master's because for what I would have to pay to make like $5,000 a year more is not mm-hmm. enough. Um, and then buy a house, hopefully. I want to buy a house by December, but we'll see if that happens. Um, I have a vision board that mm-hmm. it's on there for, so um, get a My job. vision board is trash compared to yours. <laughs> but so buy a house um so, sorry i wrote out seven goals at the beginning of the year mm-hmm. um oh we finished my degree oh i want to i want to have my grades be good enough where i could go to um you don't have to sit up all right that's school okay school and then person in with going forward in dating because this is oh i don't to... know oh i'm okay going forward in dating i don't know <laughs> Somebody that somebody that is willing to like hustle and do shit, like not like is willing. That's like, acceptable with me being better than him if that's like, or making more money than him if that's possible. But also wants to make the same as me or better. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. That like you're okay if I make more, but that should just make you want to push yourself harder. Mm-hmm. Like that doesn't mean you have to because shit happens, but. <laughs> like I want I want my kids my sons to be like lo- like want a strong ass fucking woman like to want that in their life mm-hmm. like but not need it right that like no you actually want they should need it because you don't want a weak bitch on your side because that shit uh, it's not well I out. I don't mean need I mean like I don't want them to be weak and be reliant on oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't be dependent yeah yeah right so yeah no like that's like <laughs> like it really made my heart warm like when Dominic like pushed that kid down and picked that up and then like at the same time like they call him my body- bodyguard at his daycare because he like opens the door for me and like like if I like he stays within like two feet of me at all times like 
when I walk in there, like, where's your bodyguard? And I'm like, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to open up the door. <laughs> like. That's fascinating. Yeah. Okay. Um. You said wrap it up. Nah, we gonna wrap it up because um, that's all I got. I mean, what, what, let's close it up with what is the lesson you want to be shared with the audience, with the connoisseurs about oh, everything you've been through? Um, if a relationship's bad, it's bad. Mm-hmm. That, like, you think that you can fix it and you can think, well, if this changes or if that changes. No, I mean, maybe if you've been married for eight years, like, relationships have certain things that they have to overcome, but, like, with everything that, like, I've gone through, like, if you, in early on in the relationship, within the first year, like, well, maybe not this. Don't or, ignore the red flags. Yeah, then, yeah, don't ignore the red flags. That, mm-hmm. like, or even the minor red flags that you're like, well, maybe this, no. No. Know who you are. Like, if you want to be that housewife, all the power to you. Mm-hmm. But know that that's one of what you want to do. And right. if that's not what you want to be, like, you, it's better to take that jump into loneliness than it is to, like try to settle for not being something to somebody you're not right exactly but like i was never gonna be happy being a housewife it was never gonna happen okay Um, well vera i want to thank you for coming to cognac corner uh let me get this round of applause (laughs) i gotta pee so bad dude that's what it was like 10 seconds ago i was like i'm gonna pee before i walk in this (laughs) (laughs) So we thank Vera for coming. And I don't know I'm going to title this shit, but it's going to be something very good. Mm-hmm. But I'm Marcus Balsa. It's coming at corner. We thank Vera one more time. <laughs> love yourself, love each other, and love is all we got. Good night. Marcus Balsa. Hey, how you, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Oh,